So um, I'm going to do a quick video on uh, flashing the NAND chip in your cubby board. NAND is onboard flash storage. So um, the cubby board uh, 2, which is the one in the picture I'm showing you, has the ability to store its operating system on internal flash memory. So um, I haven't seen a tutorial on how to do this, and it is somewhat fiddly, so we're going to do it quickly. Um, you will need to plug it into the computer using a micro USB to USB lead and then you need to hold down the power and the debug button which is at the other end of your cubby board and keep it held down until all of the lights go out and then let go of both of them at once and then press them again both at once until the board turns back on and at that point if you have Phoenix suit open um, and an I, uh, dot .image file, uh, like I have, um, you will get this message pop up. Ignore the first message. We, uh, I did look for a load of forums, and I couldn't exactly figure out why it's giving you that message, but I flashed it a few times, and it always works, so it can't be a broken image. So now that it's started to flash the data, from your computer over to the NAND chip on the um, Cubbyboard 2. It will take several minutes. Um, I think it's about about four minutes. Um, but be patient. Uh, I put mine back in the box whilst this is doing it. Um, mainly because the board is exposed and my desk is metal. So there was a serious chance that it could use the metal desk to short, and that would not end up well. Now, as you can see, this has taken a, uh, a few minutes. I'm currently flashing Lubuntu Server to it, um, which isn't really too big. Um, it didn't take very long to download, and... Uh, you know, it, it's pretty much Linux server, but uh, it's it's a distro of Linux server that um, is great for web hosting. This one comes pre-built with, uh, I believe, most of the things you need for web hosting automatically enabled. And I'm going to leave this video and come back in a minute. So it's been a few minutes and as you can see on the screen it has now flashed all of the data to the NAND chip. Now at this point um, depending on the OS that you've flashed you may need to plug a screen in. I know for instance with this one you do not need to plug a screen in that it is now open uh, when it starts to boot it will open the ports 21 and 80. So that um, HTTP traffic and SSH can now connect and then I don't need a screen attached. I'm simply going to SSH into the box. So I hope you enjoy this uh, really quick tutorial on exactly how to flash um, the image file to your cubby board too. And uh, I hope it helps because uh, it took me a few, few good attempts to get this to work. So if you enjoyed it, if you appreciate it, smash a like in the uh, like section. Until next time.